It was a dark and stormy night on the island of Sodor. Percy was just pulling the mail cars at night. He was a bit scared, but he, that did not stop him from doing his favorite job. Percy kept on going, but then he saw a white figure go right past him. And that almost looked like Thomas. Percy was so scared, he closed his eyes and quickly raced back as fast as he could go. Percy was racing back to the shed, and he did not stop. When Percy got into the shed, he was shaking in fear. His cheeks were almost as red as James's paintwork. Thomas noticed this. Uh, Percy? Is something wrong? Percy didn't reply. He just stood there, and his eyes were closed, and he wouldn't leave the sheds. Thomas didn't know what happened. He just decided to close his eyes and just go back to sleep. The next morning, it took a while to get Percy to get out, because he still never forgot about last night. Percy made the big engines like James Gordon and Henry have to wait to get their coaches. Thomas knew something was wrong, so he went up to ask Percy and ask him what was wrong. Percy, is there something wrong happening? If it is, you can tell me. I'm your best friend. You can tell me anything. Percy felt sad that Thomas mentioned it up, but Percy decided to tell Thomas everything what happened. After Thomas heard this, he was speechless. I don't know who he was, Thomas, but he seemed really scary. I, I don't know anything about him either, Thomas said. Are you two talking about Timothy the Ghost Engine? Timothy the Ghost Engine? Who's Timothy the Ghost Engine? I don't like talking about this engine, but I'll tell you his story. And this was the story Edward told them. Timothy is a tank engine who looks a lot like you, Thomas, except he is painted white and with the number zero on his side. He, he, he was a very nice engine, I'd like to say, until one day. Something got him. He was like a horrible monster. I don't know. But what I do know is that he threw himself off a viaduct with many passengers on board. Timothy killed every single passenger that was on board. Even, even himself. But when he was back on the rails, luckily, luckily he wasn't actually dead. But that was what happened. So Topham had sent for him to be scrapped. But when he was going to get scrapped, he threw a big fit and charged and killed everyone there and escaped. And then I then he swore to always ret he swore to return to Sodor one day and get his revenge. Oh my gosh. I I can't believe that. Why would he do something like that. I don't know, buddy, but something got him. I don't know what, and no one else does. But one thing we all do know is that Timothy is a big threat, probably as much of a threat as Diesel 10 is. Percy was more scared than he's ever been before. He was shaking in his, he was shaking in fear. But I think it's best you don't think about it now. Anyway, I have to go pull a goods train now. Goodbye, you two. Take care. Um, okay, Edward, Percy said. He was very scared indeed. Percy, I know this sounds scary, but listen, if it'll make you feel any better, you can get some rest tonight. I'll take your mail train for you. Oh, thank you, Thomas, but please be safe. Don't worry, Percy, I will. Heh <laughs> heh.